Did you know all of the big name web browsers and all the verified apps you download from reliable sources already protects your personal data? It's already padlocked up. Now the question is, with that in mind, why do IT professionals and pro gamers amongst hundreds of millions of other people on the planet still use VPNs religiously? Do they know something that you don't? Well, in this video, I'm gonna reveal five things that people don't tell you about VPNs, and by the end of the video, you'll have the answer to the question, is it worth getting a VPN in 2023? And I'm happy to let you know CyberGhost VPN is the official sponsor of today's video, and I have an 84% discount code ready for you if you wanna try it out. So when you're using a web browser and you're searching online and you see the padlock in the search bar at the top, that is indicating that the website is using SSL encryption, secure sockets layer. To explain this simply, between your router or your mobile device and the website servers that you're connected to, all of the packets of data are jumbled up like a mixed up sock drawer, and then it's reorganized on the other end. And this is an oversimplification, but you get the idea. It does this sock drawer mix up with military precision, even without a VPN. But what isn't encrypted is the website addresses that you're visiting. And your ISP can learn a lot about you and your purchasing habits, your hobbies, and your routines. And they can figure out what day you get paid based off of when you visit your online bank. And guess what? This intel is precious information for retailers. So if you don't use a VPN like CyberGhost, your ISP could put a price on your head because they could sell that marketing intel to people who want to separate you from your money. So your internet providers probably don't want you to know this, but if you activate CyberGhost VPN, your ISP will be able to see you're using a VPN, but they won't know what you're doing and you will be like a ghost in the machine. And before you go scrambling off to find your T's and C's from your internet service provider, stick around, I've got four more important things to tell you. And the last one is a pro gaming tip that makes people a lot of money online. Number two, have you ever heard that old German story about Hansel and Gretel? If you didn't, spoiler alert, it almost didn't end well. This old lady tricked these kids into a house made out of gingerbread. She then tried to cook them in the oven. And honestly, guys, you can't make this stuff up, but actually you can. Someone did 200 years ago. Anyway, think of the old lady in that story as the online retailer who's tricked you into their store to maybe buy a pair of shoes or something like that. But back to the story. One of the kids got away and grabbed a cookie on the way out, not for a snack though. They broke it into small pieces and created a trail so that they could find their way back to save the day. But actually it wasn't a cookie, it was breadcrumbs. But for my version of the story, it's a cookie. Well, here's where it gets interesting. Those online retailers reversed engineered the cookie trail method so that they can let you get away from their store, but not without a digital cookie designed to leave a trail so that they can find their way back to you. And when they think the time is right, maybe when they know it's your payday, they'll pounce again and show you that shiny pair of shoes that you nearly bought last time you visited their store. Well, by activating CyberGhost VPN on your devices or even better on your router, you can lead those cookie trails astray and they will become lost in the wind, especially if you use the WireGuard protocol built into CyberGhost VPN and enable the extra protection feature. And if you really wanna stop those scheming online retailers in their tracks, you can get the CyberGhost cookie cleaner extension for Chrome and Firefox. And trust me, online retailers do not want you to know this. Number three. So did you know that in Dubai, WhatsApp is banned? You can't use it. Is it because it's encrypted? Maybe. And did you know that in China, you can't use YouTube? And more importantly, did you know that in America, Netflix is way better? Well, all of this is online censorship and a form of control. And if you're not in control, who is and why? And I can bet you, money has something to do with it. Anyway, if you wanna take back your freedom and become an equal individual on the World Wide Web and break down those e-walls around countries and their restrictions, you can do it easily if you use a VPN like CyberGhost. In fact, CyberGhost has specific VPN servers built into it and into the app, which are dedicated to streaming services around the world. So if you wanna watch American Netflix or you wanna watch some UK TV, with a click, you can instantly spoof your location. So no matter what mobile network you're connected to or what router you're connected to in what country, you can make the service provider think you're somewhere else on the planet by using a VPN like CyberGhost. 
And by doing this, you're evading the censorship and making the most of what the World Wide Web has to offer. And check this out. Did you know that some of the most popular streaming services around the world cost different prices in different countries? So if you shop around, you're going to find some amazing deals on some amazing services, sometimes even a quarter of the price they are in your own country. And trust me, when I say this, those streaming companies do not want you to know this. So like Gandalf said in The Lord of the Rings, keep it secret, keep it safe. So if anything that I've told you so far has got you thinking, maybe I need a VPN, listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you next, because this is arguably the most important of all. Many real places on the planet are gingerbread houses like the one the old lady had in that old story. They're kind of traps designed to lure you in. They're the perfect fishing ponds for hackers and advertisers. And rest assured, they are primed and prepared with the best tools to hook all of your data in an instant. Of course, I'm talking about public Wi-Fi hotspots, airports, coffee shops, shopping centers, just to name a few. Now, all professionals with their work laptops and work phones will likely already have virtual private networks set up by their employers because their companies know that they can't risk their company information and data being leaked. But what about the employees' personal devices? You'll actually be surprised at how many of them don't realize that their own personal data is just as important as their company's data. So don't be one of those people. Next time you're on a public Wi-Fi, you should try to be a ghost, not only to avoid data capture traps, but more importantly, to prevent your devices from being hacked. And again, it's easy with Cyber Ghost VPN. Choose the server in whatever region you'd like and connect and you will be a ghost. Number five. So let's say you've lived in the UK your whole life and you decided to move to India or Australia or America. What will happen to your online devices when you move them to a new country is they will default to that region, that region's language, that region's websites, and it won't feel like home. But not if you put CyberGhost VPN on your router or modem. If you use this method that I'm about to show you, all of your devices connected to the modem will still think you're in England or whatever country you set the CyberGhost VPN to. So this includes streaming boxes, TVs, PCs, PS5, Xboxes, and anything that connects to that modem. And this is the trick the pro gamers do not want you to know because pro gamers on games like Call of Duty use this method to game the matchmaking system to get easier matches online. And this makes them look better than they are when they're playing the game. For example, let's say in North America, there's lots of really good players, but in the North Pole, there really isn't that many. So what some of these streamers do is use a VPN on their routers to appear in less competitive regions of the world to get easier games. And now you know their secret, and trust me, they didn't want you to know that, but now you know it, you can do it too. But going back to the more practical use case for putting a VPN on your modem, if you're going abroad for a long time and you want the internet to feel just like home, follow the link in the description to CyberGhost's tutorial on how to set this up on your modem. It is quite technical and most default modems that you get from your internet service providers won't support VPNs for obvious reasons. But don't worry, you can pick up a cheap modem with it already available. And I can recommend a good Wi-Fi 6 one for under 50 quid, which I reviewed a little while back. So I'll leave that in the description too. So here's why I like CyberGhost VPN. Not only do they have the best name in the business, they also have the most amount of servers globally with over 9,000 in more than 90 countries across the globe. And they have 24 seven customer support and a strict no log policy, which means they don't keep any of your data. They keep no records of your usage at all. And if you specifically want to use the VPN for streaming or specifically for downloading, there are dedicated servers specifically for that. They also offer the faster WireGuard protocol on all devices, including iOS devices. And that's something that not all other VPNs support. And if you want to sign up, you'll join over 38 million happy CyberGhost VPN users. And if you use the link cyberghost.com forward slash what gear, you'll get 84% off of your subscription. You'll also get four months for free and you can use that on seven different devices. So if you wanted to, you can split the cost between you and six of your friends. And on that note, it's time for me to ghost.